When it comes to teaching, we must always have in mind the objectives or goals of the class. That way, each strategy and activity have a purpose. This is very similar to when you decide you need to make a change in your lifestyle to become healthier. You have to have a very clear objective and then that lets you define your actions. For example, if I want to have a healthier lifestyle and change my habits for good, I have to understand my current lifestyle, decide on the changes and implement actions. I exercise in order to become healthier, I eat better in order to become healthier, and then from those, you, you develop even more specific actions. I go running 30 minutes per day, three times a week. Or, I will not eat refined sugar. At the end of it, I may get some unexpected benefits, but all come from the fact that I designed clear objectives. In order for those objectives to work, they need to be measurable and they need to be clear. You can start by drafting general and specific ones, but remember they cannot be extremely broad. Here's our suggestions. Your objectives need to include verbs. What do you want students to do? Will they compare? Will they describe? Will they analyze? Your learning outcome must include how the students will achieve such outcomes. What are they going to do in order to achieve it? And finally, what is the purpose of them doing this? What are they learning for? Remember that human beings learn better with a clear purpose, and so when our students understand the purpose of each activity and how it takes them closer to the goal, you will get better results. Using learning objectives will ensure better learning outcomes. You should include these in your lesson planning.